My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in 1881, Mill Hill missionaries landed on the shores of Sarawak and started to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to Sarawakians. The church in Sarawak started then and grew from then on. 95 years on, in 1976, this local church reached maturity. She became a full-fledged church in the Archdiocese of Kuching with Archbishop Peter Chung as her chief shepherd. Archbishop Peter Chung paid great attention to three areas of the church's life in order to ensure self-responsibility. The first was, of course, the local clergy, for which he established St. Peter's College as the major seminary to form priests for the Archdiocese in 1980. Next, he took pains to promote lay participation especially lay leadership. He motivated parishes to establish parish councils where priests and lay leaders exercise core responsibility for the well-being of the faithful. At the level of the Archdiocese, he instituted the Archdiocese and Pastoral Council in 1991 after a couple of failures. The third area was religious life. He set his mind to help the local congregation of sisters to grow. As a result of all these efforts of a chief shepherd, the Archdiocese of Kuching saw a rapid growth. Faith growth and spiritual renewal of the faithful were felt. When I took over from Archbishop Peter Chung, I inherited a legacy consisting essentially in a workable number of priests, an active laity and greater involvement by religious. My task? was to continue to build on this legacy. One area that calls for an ongoing effort to address is to equip the faithful to face challenges to faith that come from various quarters, both secular and religious. To this end, faith formation must always remain a top pastoral priority. Faith formation must necessarily be one that leads to a personal encounter with the Lord as much as a deeper understanding of the content of faith. Carefully and properly carried out, it makes its participants grow as disciples of the Lord and thus ensures steady growth of the Archdiocese of Kuching as the local church and as a communion of disciples. Looking back into our relatively short history, we sense the Lord's active presence and steadfast love and mercy for us. We are filled with gratitude to Him. This is the reason for our celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Archdiocese of Kuching. Indeed, assured of the Lord's active presence, as well as His love and mercy, we are resolved to grow in our faith and commitment to Him. We strive to live as His family and be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. The Lord is present with us and makes us experience His love and mercy through the Holy Spirit. For this reason, we have chosen to start our year-long celebration of the 40th anniversary on Pentecost Sunday and close it next year also on Pentecost Sunday. With this, and now launch our celebration of the Ruby Jubilee of the Archdiocese of Kuching. May the Lord bless every one of us with renewed faith and experience of His abundant graces and make us grow into a stronger church. God bless you all. I am Yolanda Lewen Anak Nitem. I am a Bidayo married to Eric Raos with two children. Nama aku Imelda May anak Lawing. Aku anak lumba dua, hari empat ikut menyadik. Lalu kami nang dal ada dalam ruang bilik berpengarap ketalik. Hai, gandan aku Dina Firwana, anak perempuan Balan. Dengan aku anak dan nombor empat, masuk lima orang adik-adik. Si bayu ada baptis. 
Mamba Ami ada dua agama, Seenma Hindu, Mangku dengan Andukku Christian Catholic. Ami ada orang baptis dah masa Desawa 2004, Seenma Ngarut Pasca. At that time, life was so stressful. I avoid meeting people until at one stage in 2005, I had a counseling with a priest, and I remember the priest told me this. Please allow yourself to be guided and led by the Holy Spirit. And at that time, I was curious, how can a Holy Spirit which can be seen, be heard, or be touched, can lead me or guide me? Aku sikuk orang tak nang rindu, nyamai boleh kaban, tang bisik ke maya aku nak tu Arab ke diri kumpu. Bisik maya ngasai diri maya pengurang, ada orang mukai. Nyak tinggal suah aku tusah percaya ke diri empu Lalu mujuang ke aku malu ke mantai diri mak mua orang mayu Mula subak Aku selalu nulung untuk bisik pengawak buat gereja Aku ke diri pun nak nemu Kerti kebuah aku nulung gereja Jadi aku tu selalu nanya diri empu Untuk aku amai nulung gereja laban Tuhan Atau seminak merindang hati diri Dengan kami nak Aku inya ada suka baji dengan inya ada pimenda sen mai wang kuna put inya ada bau dak kai ku kenal nak aku akan jadi pimenda dengan aku kurang yakin dengan anin kai dak tundah ku embeng nerima sakramen confirmation aku ayap dengan kurang pisaya ani sen kamang kudus mengani nak kerja dua tibu inya dengan anikah dak berlaku embeng kamang kudus kerja dak dua tibu inya sen but by God's grace, after the counseling with the priest, I started attending seminars and talk that are organized by the church. And the turning point was when I attended the Life in the Spirit Seminar in 2010. That was the first encounter I had with the Holy Spirit. At that time, I felt comforted. I experienced inner healing, peace and joy which no one can give me or even take away from me. Bisik sekali, Maya bisik pengawak gereja mega, aku oleh ngasai ke roh kudus, bisik ngawaku. Negu aku, nyentuk aku, ngasai ke semua utai nyadi amai-amai merik pengelantang. Aku cukup gagah, cukup nyamai hati, sampai nak berasai air mata aku labuh laban Kelalu gagal. Bepun arinya meh aku percaya Allah Taala apai selalu bisik negu ati kita di Arab kaya. Desawa 2000 semaheng aku suwe program kaya dengan dah abi program CN ada indi sesi healing. Saya mah ngirian kendam bekem mina dua tibu pak dua asing lagi. Melena aku mena trawa ram ke asing ku pak na ngin aku mena mena rapuan. Mengani kamu kudus kerja dua tibu inya sen aku cuba muka asing ku sen mat tapi ngabis mele nak aku odong aku ngirasa kamu kudus bekerja dua tibu ku dengan aku kena dapat pidaan mengani ani perasaan ku ang sen pak embuh sesi healing sen asing ku mene mene senang mene mene berangan dengan aku dapat ngirasa aku odong pibau semua masalah datang teguk aku dapat ngerasa magen dengan 
Aku ngerasa tibuku mana-mana nyangan. Hulai, aku rencis lai wei tianju jiao ni zi. Mei dang chao jia, ta du yao wa qi jiao tang. Ju jiang wa cai jie jin zhu. Da er ling yi si nian ling xi, cheng wei tianju jiao tu. Ling xi zhi hou, wo men fen shou. Wo gan jie, zhe shi tianju yao ta dai li wo zhou ru yang zha. Zai wo ling xi de na yi nian, wo ken deng yi sheng ling wei wo zhi liao. 我体内还有这种力量。当他负手为我祈祷时，我体内的邪灵跟他对抗，我不能控制我自己。旁边四五个人抓住我，我肯定要我不间断三十天参加弥撒，为的是要主用主耶稣的宝血洗净我。And after that, my heart changed and renewed. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I am able to forgive and to love and serve. He has given me the courage and the strength to be the witness of Christ on earth. I serve the church and the community in a little and small way that I am able to give. Sepengudah. Ngasai ke pengelantang ati di Teguk Roh Kudus, aku diatuk labuah nemu mai diri, aku uliah ngerian ke pengarap tip besai dalam Tuhan, aku nemu ya selalu bisik maya aku tusah, tau ke maya aku senang. Gaga ati uliah hidup ngau pengarap penuh ke Tuhan, serta agi uliah ngelapang ke diri nuluang gereja. Itik nak aku kai lagi trawa dengan ani dah akan berlaku dua pimu di paku, dengan ani ani dah tantuk. Dua pimu di paku, ngena kubuan. Kamang kudus bisa mah dengan aku, dengan nuntun aku dua pimu di paku. Aku itik ne lebih yakin dengan ani dah metudahku dua pelayananku dengan kait lagi mengamine suka rabaji dengan pimenda. Yesu ini sen mujin, wo chan qi da, chan yi mi sa, shen di cai yu hen da de gai bian. Yi qian. 人跟我讲耶稣，我不相信，甚至呢，我敢把整本圣经丢进垃圾桶，想不到我今天是天主教徒